Well, folks, you might want to put your seatbelts on for this one because we got an update to the drama of Dr. Disrespect. Yay! He was recently banned, he was cancelled big time, dropped by sponsors, and apparently Nick Marks was also banned. He recently got unbanned and he uh, we actually covered a video on that one. He actually broke silence and he talked about why he was banned. We covered all of that. But now, apparently, the Dr. Disrespect drama is back at it again. We got Officer Lucky actually talking about it. We got Sneeko talking about it. We're gonna go through everything and sick is are comparing the sketch situation with Dr. Disrespect. Like the video if you think this drama has been overblown. Dislike the video if not. I want to know like where you guys at. But check this out, right? So recently sketch was caught like doing OF stuff, right? A YouTuber, uh, if I'm not mistaken, somebody went in and they actually like dug up his past and blew the lid off and they actually exposed him for doing like OF content. He was on his knees, uh, uh, sucking BBCs apparently. And, and I'm not making that up. Like, that, that's true, right? He also did admit to that, like, this is not my opinion, this is, like, factual, this is the news going around, and he did admit to that, right? Fast forward, you got people on Twitter saying that the community when Dr. Disrespect tries to cheat on his wife with minors versus when someone is gay. Oh, shit. Oh, so, you know, like, Segas are comparing it, and this tweet kind of blew up. Then you got... Then you got Sneeko actually being on Rumble, and I wish I could play this clip for you guys, but I cannot because there are terminologies, there are words being used that that will that will be counterproductive, that will get me banned, okay? Because <laughs> we're on YouTube. Like the video if you want free speech on YouTube. We don't have free speech on YouTube, okay? But essentially, he brought up like two points. The first point he brought up in this clip, before I show you like what else went down, why like Jake Lucky's uh, covering the story, is that the first point he brought up was that the community forgives Sketch for being on his knees, uh, being on his knees, sucking BBCs, uh, promoting the OF and that content to the kids. Uh, the community forgives him for that. That's his first point. Uh, and community is not forgiving Dr. Disrespect, okay? The second point he brought, which a lot more people are agreeing with, is that Sketch actually played uh, like a dude that was mentally challenged. Uh, no disrespect to people that are actually mentally challenged, but Sketch was playing like a retweet guy, mentally challenged, right? Right. And we figured out that he was not and he admitted that he's not he's uh, right in the head oh, shit. He's completely sane. He's completely sane and a lot of people are like and right now a lot of people are looking like this because initially when uh, Internet detectives caught him second BBC is uh, a lot of people were questioning right like hey So you claim that you're mentally challenged, but uh, how did you know like uh, on how to suck a BBC right? Like how did you know people were questioning and later on he did admit on on a podcast that he's not mentally challenged and it was all and act i know man a lot of people are looking like this after that story so that happened sneeko bringing up this point as well and people are saying that and sneeko saying that so you're gonna forgive him for sucking bbc's promoting that to the kids uh acting like a retweet guy uh and later on admitting that he's not so you know he, he's saying that he broke the bro code multiple times dr disrespects also broke the bro code but like you, you know so like uh, seconds are talking about it right so, and then you got Simon apparently comes out says that it's strange how all the leakers, the witnesses, the insiders, and the supposed victims have gone radio silent. People getting sued. Dr. Disrespect is going to come out of the bigger, bigger than ever with enough money to fix the audio in all those second rate FPS games. So yeah, I, I want to know where you guys are with this story. One in the comments if you think Doc is innocent. Two in the comments if you think he's not innocent. I want to know where you guys are. And this happened to rule. What is up, all you beautiful people? Welcome back to the channel. Dr. Disrespect somehow back in the news and he is still on vacation ever since the the crazy crap storm situation that he went through came out over the past couple of weeks yeah he's still down somewhere and we await to see if he will come back and if he does return how that's going to go down what has not waited ever since though has been the series of sponsors and brands who have dropped doc either from their game or from their list of talent and yeah. one now joining that list is a gaming company uh, uh, and it's a fact right like uh, dr disrespect got canceled everywhere bro like his own gaming studio has dropped in which we covered and Sketch gets caught, he was acting like a re-twad re guy, right? And he's getting- <laughs> he's getting- 
literally all the all the sponsors, man. Like that is crazy. Now that's not my opinion. That's what's happening. Okay. Am I asking for his sponsor, uh, his sponsors to drop him? Absolutely not. But that's like what's going on, right? And that's why like a lot of people are talking, and people are also, of course, like saying that the community when Doctor Disrespect tried <laughs> because the community is surely defending Doctor Disrespect is what I'm seeing, but the sponsors are not. The sponsors are defending. Uh, uh, th uh, like sketch and the youtubers streamers everybody's defending him uh, but uh, apparently uh, the community is not I mean it's like 50 50 I I I'm saying like the sketch situation is different than the dog situation though that's where I'm at uh, let me know your thoughts for sure but and he joined up with a long time ago also ironically a video game out there that you guys probably have not the, the, the the reason I'm saying, the reason, pump the brakes, right? The reason I'm saying the sketch situation is different than Doc was because, like, Doc was messaging minors and Doc himself has admitted to that. That situation is different. Sketch, on the other hand, was sucking on BBCs and uh, Dr. Disrespect, from what we know, he's not sucking on BBCs, okay? If that situation comes out tomorrow, we're gonna cover it. That's gonna cause a bigger drama and then that situation will be comparable. But for now, you cannot compare. These are two different situations, okay? I, I, I wanna know where you guys at, but back to the content. Boom. And he joined up with a long time ago. Also, ironically, a video game out there that you guys probably have not heard about recently because it has not had any major updates since last year. That being the one and only Rogue Company. If you guys do not remember this throwback of a venture, teams like 100 Thieves and other creators like Doc got very closely entangled with this game and it was Yo. very highly touted. It had high expectations. And in, in my own personal opinion, all right, I, it, I, I, just my opinion, the game pretty much flopped like, like right away. But there were some people out there who still very much enjoy the game. It's just, you know, it's like Halo Infinite, right? I uh -huh. love the game, I, I still play it, uh -huh. but nobody else does. So I understand where, where you fans are coming from around this game. And along with that, Doc also doing his thing back in the day where he was making and designing his own maps, uh, kind of Crazy, a reference bro. back to Call of Duty when he so was- So this man has been canceled literally everywhere. And you know the craziest thing here is this, this is like the same uh, thing, right? We recently had the the firecracker skin in call of duty so people paid for that skin <laughs> people this is actually based on a true story and it's absolutely hilarious right because you got the, this firecracker skin you see this is the before right you see like the burn was intact right Bruh. And, and people paid money to buy the skin in the game like a lot of people were simping which is also a fact a lot of people were simping on this character skin i mean like people paid for the skin right later on activision caught the the window of people simping on the character and people enjoying the burn and the jiggle physics and all that and they nerfed the skin so they and then of course uh a lot of people started saying that no ass no cash and you know that happened but but yeah a lot of people were like hey i need my refund the product is not working as in <laughs> as intended which is a true story though like they drop a product they reduce the product size like by 50 percent and people are not getting the refund needless to say a lot of people were pissed off about that as well and we covered that story and, and the craziest thing is that uh rogue uh rogue company didn't even receive an update in a solid year right in a solid year and now it gets an update and they remove the doctor disrespect skin and people are not getting refunded so people actually cause fuss about it. Everybody's like beefing, 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 and talking about it. And apparently, Roll Company did reply, and I believe now people are getting their refund because people actually made a fuss about it. So yeah, kind of like the same energy here. They reduced the content by 50% after selling it after the fact, and here they just completely removed the skin after getting your money, right? So. He was making this. maps. He was doing the same for Rogue Company, and those tweets were going viral, and that led to a partnership where he got his own skin slash other items in the game of Rogue Company, where we found out just last week where Rogue Company, because of the news, was now finally getting rid of all of their dot content <gasps> in their game, which came to a surprise for some people out there because a lot of us were like, oh, there's people that still play, and then vice versa, obviously with the news and Doc admitting to what he had done, I can't fault the company for taking it out of the game, but there were plenty of people upset because, hey, I spent 20 or $40 in total, depending on what you bought of, of Doc's in-game items. I oh, want my shit. money back or some sort 40? of reimbursement. 
which yeah. is totally understandable. Some people saying yeah. Rogue Company sold $40 dock skins, disabled them in game permanently after not updating the game for a year, and are refunding people with in game currency instead of giving them back money. F these devs. Others saying, Hey, Rogue Company, appreciate y'all taking away the ability to use my dock skin that was $40 that I Holy. paid for. No excuses or reasons to revoke access to something that I paid for. To which facts, we also facts. got an update shortly after from Rogue Company saying, We have removed this content and will issue Rogue Buck refunds next week. Bruh. Bruh. Roll bug, guys. Roll, roll bug. Imagine spending like forty dollars on like a microtransaction, and later on they remove that, and they spit on spit on your face, and they're like, "Okay, we're we're not gonna give you your money back." And, and the, the the thing is that they, if people did not caught wind of it, if people did not talk about it, that they removed the dog uh, Dr. Disrespect skin, they wouldn't even give you money back, even in rolled bucks, right? And of course, people uh, started talking about it, and then they are like, "Okay, we're gonna give everybody their money back, but in rogue, uh, rogue bucks." Uh, refund starting next week. <laughs> so that's uh, what's going on. Holy crap, bro! Give brother the the, the, the real money, man. Like the the U.S. dollars. Uh, pay people back in U.S. dollars, or if they spend like a different currency, a uh, payback into their original method. Right? Like nobody's playing that game. I mean, some people are playing that game, but generally speaking, most people that bought the skin they're not playing the game another reason to not buy like skins in video games guys like this impacts a large number of accounts so we want to approach it this carefully to ensure it gets to every impacted player we appreciate everyone's patience and soon after that they gave us an official update saying all refunds have now been processed if you believe you should have received one and do not see it please contact customer support for assistance and uh -huh. yes you got that uh -huh. right they didn't give you you know your your actual dollars back they gave you rogue bucks for the game of Rogue Company, I imagine, to buy other cosmetics <laughs> if you are still playing that game. And this led to a, a lot of debate out there. Some people extremely upset still because yeah, a lot of, I mean, like I said many times, people aren't playing the game. Lamau in Rogue Bucks gotta be the funniest part, not gonna lie. <laughs> Yo, high res, uh, high res won't even buy them a $100 check mark, but they're going to give everyone back $40 in useless digital currency for a dead game who can't afford a $100 check mark. Oh my god, crossing another studio off the list. People still play this question mark. I don't care what anybody, anyone says about this game. This game is goaded. Okay, all right. Okay, Ricky, we, we hear you, brother. We game, you. and I think others who play the game and no longer can play his doc, but can now use that money to buy other skins in the game. Bro said rogue bucks, I'm crying dog. <laughs> How about you refund us with the effing money? I agree. I agree. Give us the money back, man. Give us the money back. Hey, yo, and also, I personally did not buy the skin in Rogue Company, but can a brother still get like two pennies? So I'll take it in Rogue Bucks. Bruh. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, I'll take it in Rogue Bucks, man. I'll take it in Rogue Bucks. The game are okay with it because there aren't too many other solutions here. I mean, don't get me wrong, all right? I feel for you if you are upset about this that you paid $40 to play as this character who then admitted to some very serious things and has been largely canceled by a lot of games and brands and sponsors and so the game is now removing him and you wanted to play as him but i mean it, like you had a long time to, to play as the doc in the game and if you are still playing the game the refund of the rogue bucks now allows you to buy actual skins of someone who who is not in the news for those things. And also we don't know the state of the deal that Rogue Company had with Doc. I imagine he got a percentage of all of those sales and that's already been paid out and they're probably not getting that money back. I highly doubt that Rogue Company backed by high res would have the money, the cash, or at least they, it wouldn't be very viable to then pay out everyone who already used the skin for a long period of time in the game to then give them back cash. I, like that they don't probably have because part of it went to Doc. So in that part, I, I am understanding of this situation. But yes, Doc is now back in the news as Rogue Company has removed all of his content. Some fans very upset that they didn't get their cash back. Others upset that they still can't play as Doc. What do you guys think about this situation? I'm gonna go enjoy my weekend, and I hope you guys do the same. Uh, I appreciate uh, guys, recently this happened, this is what happened with Nick Marks, okay? So Nick Marks broke silence, he came out, and he said this. Not sure if you guys were able to catch this or not. Click on this video on the screen. If you already seen it, then check out the video on the left. 